I told you Lauren was better at this. So I had a plan to make today's video a little more finessed and professional than last week's. Um, but as you can tell by the fact that I am recording this video inside a tiny car surrounded by all of my earthly possessions, um, plans change. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, apologies about the really late upload and about the sudden change in scenery. Um, I filmed that footage about a week and a half ago and uh, finally got a chance to sit down and edit it and it was awful. <laughs> so we're just gonna redo it. So today we are talking about summer theater camps because it is summer and it is about the time for summer theater camps. When I was young, I lived and breathed summer theater camps. I would do a camp and then I would work for the rest of the summer at this theater that I was involved in um, and it was a really prestigious program which I was really lucky to have um, but yeah it was a great time and I loved it and um, a lot of the things I learned I am now going to share with you so here are my top 10 tips for surviving summer theater camps tip one bring snacks nobody wants to deal with a grumpy actor it's just fact nobody wants to deal with a grumpy actor so bring snacks don't think that you're just gonna be able to survive on lunch and that's fine you are you are going to be doing lots of activities throughout the whole day bring snacks don't be hungry and grumpy and <laughs> the worst tip two hydrate this one seems obvious of course we're going to hydrate emily stop telling us what to do but the thing about this one is that you might not realize how much you need to be drinking water like i said before in a summer theater camp you are going to be doing lots of activities throughout the whole day if you're in musical theater or dance that includes dancing you're gonna need lots of water you're gonna need a big water bottle just get one of those like giant ones and bring it with you that's fine or bring away re or bring a reusable one. You can fill it up at the water fountain. Tip three, related to tip two, don't share your water bottles. For some reason, when I was in high school, all we did was share water bottles. And I don't find that that's as much of a thing now that I'm an adult doing theater, but we did it so much back then. So it really should not have been a surprise when the mono outbreak infected everyone. But trust me, you do not want to be the one who got the whole cast sick. Viruses spread like crazy through a cast anyway. Don't help it along. And then this is tip 3B because it's related. Don't share makeup brushes, especially when it comes to tech or shows. It's really easy to spread diseases through makeup brushes and the like as well. So just remember, sharing is not caring. Tip four, talk to people. You're gonna be doing this camp for a week, two weeks, four weeks maybe, and you're gonna be there every day. I don't care if you already have a friend in the camp or if you're doing this all on your own, you're going to want to talk to people. You're gonna wanna make friends. So just take a breath, take that step on the first day and just start talking to people. I can pretty much guarantee that some of the best and maybe the worst people you will ever meet will be in these theater camps and you don't wanna miss out on the best ones. Tip five, listen to your instructors. I promise you, they have at least some idea of what they're doing and what they're teaching you. And if you're lucky, they might have a lot of an idea of what they're doing. And if theater is something you wanna continue doing after this camp, whether it's in school or as a career, you're gonna wanna make those connections and keep them. Adults have a lot more connections than you do. Take advantage of that. And the other thing is, even if they don't have a lot of connections, you're not gonna learn anything if you don't listen to them. And maybe you're here just to have fun, but you're in a learning environment and you can learn something really cool and marketable and you're not gonna take advantage of that, you're dumb. Tip six, and this is something that I did all the time when I was younger. Sit in on other people's blocking. For those of you who don't know, blocking is the part of rehearsals where you get told where to stand and what to do. One of the universal truths about theater is that you have downtime. You're gonna have time where you're just sitting around. And a lot of people that I knew decided to take that time to socialize and talk to people and they would go outside and do that. And that's fine. But one of the things that I liked to do best was just sit in on other people's blocking. Sitting in on other people's music rehearsals can be really boring and sitting in on other people's lines reads can be really boring but sitting on other people <laughs> not sitting on other people but sitting in on other people's blocking rehearsals you can learn things that you had never thought you would learn in this camp for example I was in the ensemble of a comedy musical in when I was 
15, I think. And the time that I took to socialize with friends was really fun and I wouldn't trade that for anything. But I also did a fair amount of just sitting in on the blocking rehearsals for some of the leads. And the things that I learned just by sitting there about comedy especially, I still use today. And I learned them first just because I was sitting in on somebody else's rehearsal. Tip seven take opportunities to perform in front of your peers. Whether that's volunteering to be the person who gets up and sings their audition song for everyone, or taking advantage of an impromptu talent show like some of the camps that I've done, it is incredibly important to have performance experience when you wanna do this past the summer camp. And performing in front of your peers can be the best practice. Because these people are the people who are gonna judge you based on where you all are. They're unbiased they might be kind of harsh, but that is a fantastic opportunity. I know it sounds scary, but getting positive feedback from your peers is so rewarding, so much more rewarding than getting positive feedback from your parents who have to tell you that. And also your teachers will notice that you volunteered. And if you work with them again, they might give you a lead if you don't already have the lead. They might give it to you again. It's also just really fun. I mean, come on guys, we're in theater because we want to perform. Stop acting shy. <laughs> just get up there. I know it's scary. Just do it anyway. It's fantastic. Tip eight, have allergy medicine handy. This is a really practical tip, but one that I cannot stress enough. Summer is like allergy central. Everything is blooming, everybody's sneezing. Have some sort of over-the-counter drug that you can take if you start to feel mucus in the back of your throat. I know that's gross, but it happens. And you're singing all day or talking all day, you need it. Also, if it's over-the-counter, you can share. Don't share prescription medications. Tip nine, make friends with your teachers. When I was in theater camps, I made friends with several of my teachers and some of them became my lifelong mentors who I still contact when I have problems or need help. And I don't even live in the same state as any of them anymore. But they are so fantastic and so kind and caring and wonderful and knowledgeable that I will never want to not take advantage of their wisdom. Besides Lauren, who I met in theater camps, my teachers are some of the only people who I still love and talk to and look up to and want in my life. That's not to say that I didn't make friends who I still have and want in my life, but the closest friends that I made were Lauren and my teachers. <laughs> make friends with your teachers, they might be cool people. And then tip 10, and this one is a little more serious, let go of poisonous people. The thing about theater that kind of sucks is that everyone kind of feels like it's a competition. And that feeling doesn't necessarily go away. There's always gonna be some level of feeling like you have to compete with your peers in theater. But one of the more important things to learn here is how to have a professional kind of competition without making it personal. How to be happy for people when they have successes is a really important life skill. Not just in theater, in everything. Being happy for other people's success will make you happy. The problem is that not everyone can do that. So whether it's someone who's angry at you because you got a better part than them, or they think that you got a better part than them, or you are friends with the teachers and they think that that's not fair, or if it's someone who's maybe putting you down because they feel threatened by you, even if you don't feel like you have a competition with them, or sometimes it can even be teachers who are putting you down because they're jealous of your youth. I know that sounds like a Disney villain, but it happens. The most important thing that you can learn here is to just let go of those people. Don't let them have a big effect on your life. I know it sucks and I know it can be the worst feeling. I know this firsthand. I promise you I understand. But if you can learn to just let go and not try to hang on to them and hang on to those relationships in a way that's unhealthy, then you will be a lot happier as a person. Be kind to them. I'm not saying be mean. Be kind. But don't feel like you have to be involved in that relationship longer than you want to. Just be kind to each other. That's the biggest thing. Just be kind to each other. All right, and those are my 10 tips for surviving summer theater camps. I hope they were helpful to you in some way. If you are doing a theater camp this year, I hope you have fabulous, fabulous fun. Go ahead and leave a comment and let us know. Also, let us know if you want us to talk about anything specific. We're totally open to suggestions. I will be back on Friday, hopefully. So you'll get two videos from me this week because you didn't get any from me two weeks in a row. I'm sorry. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to us if you like us. 
<laughs> if you want to. Thank you so much to the people who have started watching us. We love you. We love that you're here. We love that you want to talk to us. Leave a comment and tell me your best and or worst theater camp stories. Let's have campfire story time. And maybe Lauren and I will share some of ours too. We've got some juicy ones. All right, we love you. Bye. This is going to be distracting. Better? I think so. Ooh.